Hey guys, and welcome back to Trains. Uh, let's carry on with the build. First thing we're going to start to do today is oh, a little bit of painting. So I figured that round here, that the area around here is going to be a mark in the middle there. So maybe some old concrete that we'll try and go for. But I'm also thinking, maybe because we're not, I don't want to put as much detail everywhere. Could we actually get away with not putting paths and stuff in down there? Well, I'm going to be honest, I, I, I quickly work out we can't, but uh, we try it anyway. See what it actually looks like. Obviously, the less things we put in on the corners here, the less resources, the less GPU resources we use. But I do find I don't like it, if I'm honest. So the majority, maybe the corner here we don't, but the majority of the rest we do. It certainly doesn't hurt painting everything out here. The majority of it would be sort of this concrete, sort of asphalt, sort of uh, colours. I'm sure there'd be lots of bit, little bits of green here and there. We we'll have some trees and the old, the old tree and the old thing like that into it as well. But that'll be later on, a few episodes' time. We do a little bit more detailing here. I just noticed that road is hovering. I don't like that. You can see the shadow on it. As you know, that's my bugbear. Everything hovers. You have to lower it down. There we go. I've actually I've noticed it and actually done it. There you go. That's about a week since I recorded this. I actually did the the gameplay part of this, so uh, remembering exactly what I did is, uh, you know, doesn't always, it's not always going to happen. Once again, we're painting there. I think the trick is you just don't use the same colour everywhere. You just keep merging them in and merging them. As long as you get the, the similar colours, they, they work together. Really was trying quite hard to see if we could actually just not put halves in. Didn't like it. We got to experiment, otherwise uh, you just end up doing the same thing all the time. But at this point, as you saw, I just gave up. Especially down here. It's still quite close to the station. Oh, one way around, I believe. But I'm, I don't think I'll be putting halves everywhere and wasting the GP on that. As you can see, I'm trying to use different paths as well. I'm trying not to use the same path everywhere. Just to sort of, in real life, you don't have, it's very seldom you have one bit of path everywhere because it's just, they're done at different times. Sometimes in a town you do find it. And they've actually just redone the whole lot. But it's not often. This is the that area that that gap there is where we're going to put quite a large road. So a dual carriageway type thing, I vote, I think. shift button. Yeah, come on. Be a nice fit. There you want to. I 
up just enough so you can actually see the curb. That's it. Quite like that part actually. But lucky it's got different whips. it yeah I'm fairly happy with that I think once you got a bit more detailing like such as the trees and the people walking and oh some phone boxes and a few things like that then telephone lines the odd telephone line I suppose even around that point you still had uh, the odd uh, power line as well at certain places most of them buried these days of course More paths. Obviously, if, you, if, you, if you're in doubt, just put more paths down. That's it. We'll put a little bit of detail in behind those bills also, I think, eventually. Sort of a loading bay or something. This is now asphalt, so I think that's ash. It looks like asphalt. Much cheaper way to do paths. I'm still not sure this one actually stays there, but they don't. Also, it doesn't help that we've actually still got these uh, roads underneath. Certainly before the end of my build session, not sure this episode, might this one or the next, we do actually complete the roads there. I mean the part. Ah, we are doing to do it now. There you go. As I said that I've forgotten what I did when. I'd found a few more buildings by this point. Now if you have a look, there's a Dixons, which we don't have those anymore. There we go, but I don't think they would have been around at that point. It looks a bit modern. So what we're going to do is find some uh, fascias and put them in front. We have a couple of goes at it. I think the Barclays Bank there as well. Uh, we'll keep it, but I think uh, it looks a little bit too modern with the cash machine in front looking at it. But there you go. Can't use this one, the pet store. So I can't use that one. Cafe maybe? Again, the uh, the door goes for too far back. Maybe that one. Yeah, a bit too big. That's more like it, a little post office. Approaches a little bit on the window on the right, but if you're casually looking at it, you won't notice. Here's that big uh, road we're going to use. Now we'll, we'll probably change that to a, a different type of road later on. Now I said that we are going to be using um, roads without traffic on, and then placing other roads on top, the traffic on top. Now, I think we'll do that in the city, but I don't think we need to do it everywhere. So once we go further out, we'll just swap two roads with traffic. And also that gives us a lot, much larger ch uh, choice of uh, roads. But I want to do it in certain places, because I think, as I said, well, I want to have parked cars on the side sometimes, and other cars have to go around them. And uh, I think that only, that only really would work. You know why this is happening, don't you? It's because we've got the hill. And that's the, the hill is, well, I'm, I'm terrible at doing hills, if I'm honest with you. 
Okay, we're going to have a large church right here. And uh, it's a thump of my daughter coming down the stairs. You might hear that. So we're going to have a large church. We've got some back roads as well, actually. And a little road down there. That's right. But that road won't connect. We'll have some sort of barrier at the end. We don't want it going to a dual carriageway. I th yeah, I think that, that building does actually stay there in the end. Where it, it matches the church. It, well, it doesn't match, but it goes very nicely with the church there. Not quite right for the area, I don't think. Still on the wrong layer. We still need to have some businesses going down this dual carriageway. But uh, probably less so. Let's leave enough space for the parts there. Probably have some larger buildings at the end here. Take out that, that's right. And you can see where the hill is, can't you? Try and move it further down. And there will be a road, as I say, going across. May need to tie this up a little bit more yet, though. And we are going to have a retaining wall as well. Here we go, actually. Only us just mentioned that. So I don't bother showing every last bit of putting this retaining wall in because it's a time consuming. We're low at this end. And then we slowly hire up to the other end. Let me put one in here as well. By putting this in right now, it allows me to well determine the height we need to actually take the uh, land up to. And can I actually get it to actually do I want? No. Here we go, finally. We want a slowing kind. I might end up changing these yet. Like the uh, the type of the arch is on. Better stay for now. now. As I mentioned, I won't show everything of this, but this, you'll see generally what I'm doing. I'm putting a few of these um, asphalt texture slabs on. Now for the city, we'll probably we'll stick with something like this, and then we'll put some scenery on top of it. My thinking is that uh, it's mostly factories and all kinds of work buildings around here, so it probably wouldn't be grass. Well, as I say, what we can do is put some uh, weeds and stuff on top of it to make it look a bit more old later on, and also the. Uh, the actual land next to it. We'll, we'll paint it similar colours as well. So pretty much we do this both sides all the way down to the... Uh, well, we stopped there, actually. The other end. don't think I've got one in there. Here we go, finally getting it up a bit further. You can see this can take a while and then we just have to raise the land up to it. I would love there to be a, an easier way of actually raising land up so it could actually be you wouldn't need to use this sort of texture you could it would go up and down pretty much straight away 
rather than just the gradual incline it has. It's probably it's just maybe I, I just haven't learnt how to do it yet. But uh, it doesn't seem to be what I would put. You do have to sort of mask the, uh, the incline somewhat. You do want to get as close as possible because then you don't have to use those textures. If you can just get away using one, fantastic, but mostly I think I'm using two all the way across. I'm also really worried. You can see the track. It doesn't like it. It, it. it gets affected every time you try and raise this. Now what I'm trying to do there is just keep everything on the flat, really. But that is it for this episode. We will carry this on in the next one. But uh, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to, please press the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. And if you press the ding dong bell button, it even tells you when I put new videos on. Okay, guys, cheers. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.